Hey guys, welcome to Super Important Reviews. My name is Steve, and in this video we're going over the Transformers Robots in Disguise Strong Arm. She is going to be a part of the series Robots in Disguise that will be airing on Cartoon Network sometime in the near future. And I mainly picked up this figure because, again, I really love the show Transformers Prime, and also she's a fanbot, so she already had two things going for her for me. But to my understanding, she is a new character for this TV show, where she is a part of the Elite Guard and gets assigned to Bumblebee to help capture the escaped convicts that have made their way to Earth. But to my understanding, she is more of a Prowl character for this TV show, where she is more of the authoritative type and her views on everything is kind of black and white, where it's either right or wrong, and there's not much of a gray area. Which I guess gets in way with a lot of the other characters in the show, because especially Grimlock, where he's actually a convict, to my understanding. So it's kind of going to be neat to see the dynamic that's going to be going on with them. And I can't wait to see the show and can't wait to get her out of her packaging. So without further ado, for the packaging, looks really nice. Really like this white display that they got going on here where you get a nice image of the character from the show over here. Shows you her alt mode on the bottom up here. On the side, again, just get another nice image of her. Tells her her name. This side, absolutely nothing. On the bottom, a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo and some of the other characters in the line with Bumblebee, Grimlock, and Steeljaw. And for the back of the back, just shows you how many steps it takes to do it, which is eight steps, which seems pretty simplistic, and you get a nice picture of the figure in the packaging there. And it tells you how you can download the stuff to play the game. And that's pretty much it. Let's get her opened up out of her plastic prison. All right, so first for her accessory, she comes with this little blaster, which has some molded details on here. The one thing is, for this weapon, it is very, very thin. But, it overall, it does have a pretty different look to it, so it's kind of neat. And another thing that's pretty cool is it has this little, like, splash effect coming out of the beam where it's supposed to be like it's shooting. And this would be like the explosion of the blast coming out of it. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like something like you see with the SH Monster Arts where they have the beams coming out and it's all like... <laughs> which is phenomenal. And I do like the attempt on here. Which it... Maybe it was a little bit more exaggerated, but it's still a pretty cool nonetheless. And then just when you want to put it on the figure, goes on her hand here, which actually sits on here pretty flush. And overall, it looks pretty good. And then if you don't want it in her hands, on the back here, there's some added storage here if you want to insert it on here. So just popping it out of the hand here. And you just stick it on the back and then you can keep her hands free to do whatever you want. So initially when I picked up this figure, I actually thought this was a dude. Like, especially with the name Strongarm, that is a very manly name. And it just, it didn't occur to me that this was actually a female until I actually did a little bit of research on the character. Because she has a very bulky build to her. Like, everything's just kind of large on her, especially with her arms and legs and her overall body build. And I could, I could just imagine Optimus Prime when he first met her and just being all like, What's your name, soldier? I'm Strongarm. Whoa, wait a sec. So you're, uh, but you don't have, huh? And just being very confused, but it's actually, it's a different look for a lot of the female characters. Like, it doesn't bother me that she has a little bit of thickness to her. It just maybe it would be nice to have a little bit more of a heads up that this was an actual female Autobot, maybe somewhere on the packaging. Because the only real indicator on her is for her head sculpt, which is very feminine looking, especially with the puffy lips here and the overall just design of it being very sleek. It's the only real giveaway of this actually being a chick. Because her body, especially like right here, it's fairly manly looking. The arms look fairly manly. Legs are freaking huge. But it's kind of cool the way that they're going with the character because even after looking at some pictures of her online and stuff, like she does seem like she's a fairly large woman. So it's kind of cool that she has a little bit of thickness to her. It's not like all Transformers need to be hypersexualized, just like one of the other ones that was released recently. How you doing? So it's pretty cool that there's a little bit of diversity between her and some of the other Fembots. And then going over some of her details, again, head sculpts, actually not that bad. Really like the way it turned out. Some of the paint apps on here are pretty good. The only real bummer on mine is right here, you'll notice that there's a little bit of plastic missing here right by the eye. Because checking out some of the other ones, it wasn't really a common thing on all of the strong arms. But on some of the other ones, like there was a lot more damage to the face with like scratches and whatnot, so this is the one I ended up picking up. And it, it's not very distracting, especially if you have her at a distance. It's just 
Something I want to point out to you guys. And then for her chest, again, there's not much going on here. It's very feminine. There's only a little bit of the bump here, but she does have this giant Autobot emblem here, which is for the game for your mobile phone or tablet, where you would scan it with the camera, and then this would put her into the game and also give you some added DLC. So that's pretty cool what they're doing with here. Wish it wasn't so big, but it's just something I imagine you have to keep it relatively large so it's actually able to scan it. And it's not very distracting. It's kind of different between her and a lot of the other Transformers in my collection. And then, for waist again, it's a little wide here, but eh, just something I have to live with. And then for arms here, the one thing I actually, is my first real complaint about this entire figure, is that I'm not a big fan of the way that they did her hands because they look like they're mittens. <laughs> like She's got some boxing gloves on, just ready to go duke it out with somebody. And when you're looking at it from the top, it doesn't look that bad, but once you start bending the elbows, it's just not a lot going on here. It just To me, it just kind of drops the display factor of her a little bit. Because if you want to see the hands, you're going to have to keep her arms downward. Where if you want to have them bend a little more dynamic, it just looks a little bit goofy. So that kind of is a bummer. Not for her legs, they're actually not that bad. <laughs> kind of bulky. But, and they got a lot of the gapping bag here, but I don't really see how they could have maybe improved upon this any. So, it's not too bad, especially from the side angles in the front. It still looks pretty good. The one thing that really does suck about her, though, is her ginormous backpack she got here. Which, pulling the gun out, when she initially came out of the packaging, it was down like a skirt. Which, personally to me, actually... Doesn't really look all that bad. It's a little bit better than having it upwards and the thing sticking out. Like That just adds a lot of girth to the figure's body. And I really wish that they would have maybe added a little bend here just to be able to fold these inwards a bit. Just to decrease the size of this a little bit. And that would have been awesome. But they went with this. And it's definitely an eyesore. It's just... Probably the worst thing about this entire figure's overall design, to me personally anyways. But everything else looks pretty accurate to the show. It's just, again, the arms are a little bit like boxy mitts and eh. But for articulation, her head can look up, down, left and right. Her shoulders are on a hinge so they can move a little bit up and down. And also have the ball joint here so you got a lot of range of motion with these things which is really nice. Then she has a bend right here at the upper part of the bicep. She also has a bend here too, and a rotation, which is nice. Like she has a lot of posability with the arms, which is cool. And then for her waist, you can rotate all the way around. For her legs, you can move outwards about that far, inwards, back about that far, forward about that far, has a bend at the knee, has a rotation here at the lower part of the thigh, and has a pivot at the foot. So her articulation is actually pretty nice, and she does have a lot of posability factor. It's just, again, just the overall like positionings you can have with this figure are just slightly limited in terms of just overall eye appeal. Like having her sideways about this far isn't so bad, but man, that thing's so huge back here. <laughs> And then the same problem with her mittens, but let's get her in the vehicle form and see how that turned out. And for some quick comparison, here's Stronger compared next to some of the Open Warrior class robots and disguise characters I have with Steeljaw and Grimlock. And here she is with Generations RC and Chromia. And here she is with the Transformers Prime Prowl, who actually was not in the television show. Alright, so here is Strong Armor in her vehicle form, which for her weapon, if you want to store it on her, there's a pickle on the top here, which you just insert the gun in. Yeah, <laughs> not sure if I'm actually gonna display it like this, and by not sure I mean never. But what's actually really sweet is underneath, when you pop out her chest, she has a peg hole down here as well. So what you can do is use the one of the pegs on the side of the gun here, you insert it into her chest here, and then what this does is it actually lets you store the weapon underneath the gun, which. It is fantastic. I really love it when they do these things on this Transformers, where if you don't really want to store it on any other parts of the weapon, 
It hides very nicely underneath and it helps to really up the display factor of the figure. And also you don't have to worry about losing the weapons. So I love it when they do stuff like that again. And also for this vehicle form, it's pretty solid overall. Like there's not really any noticeable gapping. There's just a little bit back here, but that's just a part of the actual figure. So that doesn't really bother me at all. Same on the back here, just spinning the car around a little bit. Like it looks very clean. And there's not really any real transformer cable underneath the car as well. You just see the feet kind of sticking down back here, which if that's really it, like I'll take it. The only thing is, is that the figure is very hollow on the inside, but that's just a part of the simplistic transformation they've just been going with. So there isn't really a whole lot going on here, which again, helps with a lot of the transformer kibble not painting out from underneath the car. So that's pretty cool. And for the actual paint job, it would have been nice to maybe see a little bit more paint on here because for the headlights, they're just painting this teal here, which might have been nice to see a little bit of yellow there, even just some white to offset the teal there. And a little bit more paint here on the bumper here. And the same with the back here. There's really nothing going on here. It would have been maybe nice to add a little bit of red here for the taillights, especially since they already used some up the top here for the sirens here. But overall, it works for what it's supposed to be, which is a police car SUV. So in terms of being a toy, like this thing's phenomenal. Like everything stays together pretty well. Like just messing around with it a bit. And you don't have to really worry about popping apart. Like you can just pop that part a little bit, but it pops right back in. Stays in there very nice. And I can see a kid having a lot of fun with this. And in terms of display too, like, it works, and this is actually a fairly nice alternative to the robot form. So overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with this vehicle, especially for how simplistic of a transformation it is to get it into this. And here's a quick comparison. Here she is with Steeljaw and Grimlock from Robots in Disguise, and he is still tiny. And here she is giving RC a lift. All right, for reals this time, here she is with Generations RC and Chromia. And here she is with Transformers Prime Prowl. So overall, Stroner, she's okay. Not bad, not horrible, just okay. Her robot form doesn't look all that bad and is actually a pretty good representation of the character. It's just the boxing gloves and the backpack are a little bit distracting, but that's mainly just a problem with her transformation because it's just generally geared towards kids and being very simplistic. So they take a little bit away from it just to make it easier for them to deal with. And that takes away from the overall design of the character. But it's still not bad, and the vehicle form actually turned out pretty good. Paint apps could be a little bit better, but again, this is mainly meant for kids, so it's not going to be perfect. And it still works pretty well for me, so overall, if you guys are really excited about Robots in Disguise and Astronom, I do recommend actually picking her up, because it's still a pretty nice representation of the character. But if you're a Transformer fan looking for something a little more complicated and not going to be really committing towards the Robots in Disguise series, then I could easily see her being a pass. So what do you guys think? Have you guys found Strong Arm? Are you guys excited about Robots in Disguise? Or do you like your chicks not to be thick? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer pictures of her on Facebook if you want to click the link in the description below. Please don't be afraid to share this video around. And if you like this one, super stuff like this, please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.